Hi, my name's Trev Hutchings, and this is my complete guide to the Axe Edge Editor, part five. Tap on sound, part, and part one. For this tutorial, I have switched on parts one and two with the same piano tone on both parts, but we'll be changing just part one so you can hear how the pitch settings will affect a sound patch. Now scroll down the screen to the pitch section. Tap on the bar to the right of the words octave shift to shift the octave of the tone part sound. An octave raises or lowers the pitch of the tone sound by 12 semitones, which is 12 notes on a piano. This lets you set the four part sounds to different octaves when played together. Here is the standard patch sound. Drag right on the pop-up slider to shift the tone sound to a higher octave. And here is the same patch with the octave shifted on part one to be one octave higher. Drag left to shift the tone sound to a lower octave. And now I've shifted part one, one octave lower. Tap on the bar to the right of the words coarse tune to transpose the tone part sound, which raises or lowers the pitch of the tone sound in semitones. A semitone is equal to a note on a piano. Drag right on the pop-up slider to raise the pitch. Or left to lower the pitch of the tone sound. Tap on the bar to the right of the words fine tune to detune the pitch of the tone sound. This lets you raise or lower the pitch by less than one semitone. Drag right on the pop-up slider to raise the pitch or left to lower the pitch of the sound tone. Tap on the bar to the right of the words bend range to set how far the pitch bend wheel will bend the pitch of the played tone sound note in semitones. Drag left or right on the pop-up slider to set the number of semitones. Drag all the way to the left to turn pitch tone off or drag all the way to the right to set the same settings as the tone part. You can create some interesting effects if you set the bend range to a different number for each of the parts. Tap on the text box to the right of the words bend mode to set how the pitch bend wheel reacts. Tap on normal to set the pitch bend wheel to pitch bend all notes currently being pressed. Tap on catch plus last to set the pitch bend wheel to pitch bend only the last note pressed of the currently pressed notes. Mm -hmm. 
tap on tone to set it to the same settings as the tone part. In the scale tune section, tap on the text box to the right of the word type to set the type of musical scale to use for the part sound. Tap on equal to set the musical scale to the typical western pop and rock scale. Tap on the other options on the pop-up list to select alternative music scales or tap on custom to create your own. When you tap on custom, tap on the note names below the word note. Then tap on the bar to the right of the word value and drag your finger over the pop-up slider to set the fine tuning for each note. Tap on the text box to the right of the word key to set the key note of the musical scale. If you enjoyed this video, do give us a thumbs up and click on that subscribe button. Cheers.